Dr. Stevens, the first order of business was to retool the Panama Railroad, which had been built in the 1850s and was by now so decrepit that he once described it as two streaks of rust and a right-of-way. Stevens realized that this was going to be a huge exercise in logistics. The job of building the canal would be very much a job of just moving, removing, hauling out thousands of carloads of dirt. He understood that the railroad was going to be the heart of the effort. In the system Stevens ultimately devised, the railroad would function as a giant conveyor belt, and its position would shift continuously to accommodate the work as it progressed. To speed the relocation along, he seized on an ingenious innovation, a swinging boom mounted on a flat car that could lift and move yards of existing track without first having to take it apart. Then he traded the rail cars for open-sided flats fitted with a plow, which could empty a 20-car train in about 10 minutes. By Stevens' estimate, the two rigs would do the labor of 900 men working by hand. 